first time bloomer, Zygonesia snowbird. Well, almost a first time bloomer. Let's talk about this orchid coming up at the Orchid Hut. Welcome back to the Orchid Hut. My name is Dana, and today's video is about this first-time bloomer, Zygonesia snowbird. Well, it's almost a first-time bloomer. I'll explain that in just a bit. But today's video is also going to start with a little bit of an explanation about why I have been absent from making videos in the last several weeks. It was partly on purpose, and then, well, family stuff kind of kicked in. And uh, I was, let's just say I had my priorities readjusted for a bit while I dealt with um, some elder care uh, with family members once again, kind of deja vu to what I was experiencing this time last year. But in any case, I'm back with this video in Zygonesia Snowbird. And, you know, initially I kind of um, sort of held back a little bit on posting videos for a couple of weeks to see how YouTube was going to react to that. You know, at the beginning of November, YouTube made an awful lot of adjustments with how their advertising works. And, you know, there's not going to be any way to avoid advertisements on YouTube now. That's how they make their revenue. And in fact, if you uh, have certain ad blockers on your computer, you will even be limited to how many YouTube videos you can watch because, yes, they want you to watch the advertisements. So, while I try to keep advertisements uh, on my videos to be, m you know, more in the range of minimal, uh, sometimes I'm not completely in control of that now, I see. Um, so apologies in advance if there are numerous interruptions. Um, then, um, the other thing that I was kind of watching while I wasn't posting for a couple of weeks is, you know, views definitely go down when you don't post new material. However, subscriber count started going up when I, well, at a, at a more rapid pace than when I do post videos. So I have no earthly explanation for that, but that was what I noticed while for, you know, a couple of weeks I wasn't posting anything. Um, but, you know, now my experiment is over. I'm just going to get back to doing what I do, which is making videos when they make sense to be made, and, you know, the advertisements are just going to come along with that. Okay, so Zygonesia snowbird. Now, first of all, this particular plant is a clone, um, according to the tag, and that just means that it was created not through pollination and seeds, but rather through either a cutting or some sort of um, hormonal paste, like kiki paste, that you might put on the node of a phalaenopsis spike, you know, in order to propagate an exact duplicate or a clone of the mother plant. Now, I'm guessing, because this particular plant doesn't necessarily have nodes per se, like on a phalaenopsis spike, I'm guessing that this was probably done through a cutting, although I don't know that for certain. Um, in any case, um, it is an intergeneric hybrid. It is a cross between a zygopetalum, which, you know, has some uh, reputation for being a little bit persnickety when it comes to repotting, and uh, an agonesia orchid. And in this particular case, it was an agonesia species orchid crossed with a zygopetalum to create this zygonesia. Now, this particular orchid, you can see it's kind of a, a tall plant here. This particular orchid um, has been in my collection for about a year and a half, and this is actually the third time I've seen it in bloom. It was in bloom when I purchased it about a year and a half ago. And then last winter, it did have a bloom spike. However, I was unable to film it because, again, of sort of deja vu, uh, a lot of family things going on at the time. So I missed uh, filming it as a first time bloomer last winter when it bloomed. And so now it is in spike and in bloom again, a tiny bit earlier than last year. 
Now this uh, orchid has a bit of an unusual sort of twist to the spike. You know, I had this oriented uh, towards the light in the exact same direction the entire time this spike and the buds were developing. And yet I still see that I'm experiencing what I noticed on the first couple of spikes, which is the, the buds and the blooms are sort of oriented in this twisted way around the spike. Uh, you know, even though the light source was uh, coming from one direction the entire time. So it could just be a characteristic of this orchid. It has really, really um, gorgeous sort of light green petals and sepals with a little bit of purple tinging on the tip along with a frilly purple lip. It is just truly a gorgeous color combination. Now it is a fragrant orchid, um, but I wouldn't say it's fragrant in the sense of being flower-like. It's more like it has a bit of an odor, which is sort of peppery. And you know, it's not the kind of smell that will fill a room, but if you do get close to the open blooms after it has been open a couple of days, you will get this sort of uh, very distinct peppery scent. Now, you know, zygopetalums have a reputation for being picky about being repotted, and I did repot this one uh, almost exactly a year ago to today. And I'll put a link in the upper right hand corner of the screen if you would like to go back and watch that repotting video. Um, it has grown a lot since that repotting video and how I chose to repot it has worked out perfectly fine, you know, in the way of the media that I chose and the way that I chose to handle the root system when I did it. So the link will be uh, in the upper right hand corner if you'd like to go back and see this plant a year ago when I was repotting it into this container. Now, this orchid also has kind of a different um, growth pattern. So, sometimes the new growth turns into the pseudobulbs, and then other times it will have growth that just produces bloom spikes, like this one right here, which has since dried and has been cut away. And then, if you look around on the back of this plant, you know, this was a, a new growth, and this was the newest growth uh, this past growing season. And then the shoot that came off of that newest growth simply had the bloom spike, and there is a second one hiding down um, inside of that new growth, and I don't exactly know if that one will actually send up a bloom spike as well, but there is the potential. In any case, I got a really nice um, show out of this blooming season. So I'm pleased with this orchid. Uh, the potting media that I chose, you can kind of see what it looks like there on the top of the pot, has worked out perfectly well. I don't water this one any differently or fertilize it any differently than I do any of my other orchids. I do let it um, dry out in between waterings, but then give it a good soak. Um, the root system down in the pot, you know, has grown since I repotted it, so that's a good sign that it's, you know, relatively happy with, uh, with its home there in the pot. And uh, the only thing I notice now is that, you know, in hindsight, maybe what I could have done is I could have potted it just a tiny bit deeper because I think the new root system is maybe pushing it up a bit, and then some of the new roots coming from the new growth are maybe a little bit exposed. So. Probably what I will be doing is when this bloom is finished, and I know that it's not going to bloom a second time down here, I will probably be repotting this one again um, in maybe four or five months. And it would probably be due for a repot at that time anyway. Uh, one of the things that you'll notice about this orchid, and it's kind of an indication that water is needed, is that these bulbs will begin to shrivel just the tiniest bit. And at the moment that I notice that, I know that uh, it is definitely time for some water if I haven't already taken care of that. All right, so this is a Zygonesia snowbird. I have really been enjoying having this orchid in my collection. It has not been nearly as difficult to grow um, as I might have expected. It is indoors year-round. 
under uh, Barina Grow Lights and it has been completely successful growing that way. All right, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or learned something new, please give it a thumbs up. The subscribe button is coming up in the bottom right hand corner of the screen and talk to you all next time. Happy orchid growing.